All right, another week is here. Let's do this. Yo, 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 what is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is Monday, the beginning of the week, so you already know what I got for you guys. Another episode of This Week in Hype for the Homies. This week, I'm not gonna cap with you guys. We don't have a lot to talk about, but what we do have to talk about is extremely important. I've been waiting for some of this news for a very long time, so I'm happy to say that it is finally here. I'm talking about one, the Dior release, the official release, release of the Dior Air Jordan 1s is finally here. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. So we're definitely going to dive into that. We also have some pretty dope collaborations, some Bodega collaborations. We also have the Sean Witherspoon Asics collaboration as well. So of course, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys take away some valuable information. And of course, I hope you guys stay to the end because I definitely do not want you guys to miss out on anything. But before I get into the video, I do want to mention one thing. It's ending this week, this Thursday, the giveaway for all of these Supreme goodies. Like I've been saying over the past couple videos, I'm giving away a shit ton of Supreme Bouncy Balls. There's also some paratroopers. There's uh, shower caps. There's ballpark ponchos. There's little knickknacks here and there. There's a shit ton of stuff that I'm giving away. If you guys want a chance to walk away with some of these goodies, I would definitely not recommend sleeping on this. It's very easy to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is one, go follow my personal Instagram at ugly.img. Two, go follow my cook group's Instagram at ugly.group. Three, drop your Instagram handle down below so that I can verify that you follow both accounts. And lastly, since you're already here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. But once again, I'm going to choose about five or six winners this Thursday during the Live Cup for Supreme. So once again, if you guys want to have a chance to walk away with some of these items, please do not sleep on that. But enough of that, let's get into the actual video. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, this is essentially a series where I talk about all the latest and greatest things happening in streetwear and in sneakers, all the stuff that we like to keep up with on a daily basis. So if you guys are a fan of this content, I literally have content like this practically every day for you guys. I would definitely recommend hitting the subscribe button down below. I would definitely appreciate it. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, which is fucking insane. I still cannot believe it. But of course, if you guys don't mind, please continue to support the kid. But enough of that. Without further ado, welcome to another episode of This Week in Hype. All right, all right. Let's kick things off with a weekend recap like we usually do. This past weekend, there were two or three three pretty big releases in my opinion one of them being the Air Jordan 5 top threes um, in my opinion this sneaker was pretty decent it was actually a little mediocre I'm not gonna lie as someone who's not a huge fan of Jordan 5s and combining that with the fact that this colorway specifically just the execution of it in my opinion was a little weak um, it was definitely an easy pass for me and also judging by how easy and still available some of these pairs are I'm pretty sure that a lot of other people passed on it as well but um, it's definitely not the worst Jordan 5 that we've seen. If you guys are a fan of it, I hope that you guys were successful in picking it up. For those of you guys who weren't, I'm pretty sure that you can walk up to any of those foot sites, probably like Foot Lock or Foot Action, and snag a pair. But um, yeah, for me, it was an easy pass. Let me know what you guys think down below. Also, this past weekend, we did see the release of the Air Jordan 6 Hairs. Um, this sneaker goes right pretty much hand in hand with the Air Jordan 5 Top 3s. In my opinion, it just wasn't that good of a sneaker. The execution, I just feel like it could have been a little better. With the whole story that it's meant to represent and Bugs Bunny and all that stuff, I just feel like, again, it could have been executed a little better. Um, I am a pretty big fan of the Hair 7s, but getting them on a 6... I don't know, it just wasn't for me. Let me know what you guys think down below as well. But also, probably the main release that happened this past weekend, at least in my opinion, I'm not sure if you guys are hit to it, was the FTP and Lakai release. Boy, oh boy, did FTP get a lot of smoke on Twitter. It feels like everybody who actually wanted a pair was not successful in copying because that site just got smoked by bots. Literally, I think that most of the people in my group who ran bots cop like six, seven pairs. It's really crazy how that drop went down. I'm not gonna lie with you guys. But um, for all you diehard FTP fans, diehard FTP fans, I know people love throwing that word around. Um, I'm sorry if you were not successful in copying. Um, I'm pretty sure that Zach and the whole FTP family is going to try to do a lot better going forward. I'm not entirely sure why FTP decided to go and drop them on the Lakai site. But um, then again, what site would have been prepared for that? I don't even think the FTP site would have been prepared for the amount of traffic they received that day. But um, again, I apologize if you guys were not able to cop. If you were, shout out to you guys. I cannot wait to get those in because I definitely want to see them in hand. 
But um, yeah, in my opinion, that was probably the most notable release that happened this past weekend. But enough of that, let's get into these upcoming releases because we definitely have quite a bit to discuss. Let's kick things off with something that we should, you know, be looking forward to. That being the Nike Dunk Glow Champs. Those are now releasing on the 24th of this month. It's crazy how we're getting these before we're getting the St. John's pair, the University Red pair. Um, the University Red pair, for those of you guys who are not aware, those were now postponed to the 1st of July officially those are on the sneakers app for the first of july um these are on the sneakers app loaded for the 24th i don't know what logic that is it would have only made sense to push these a little further back get the you know university red pair first but i'm not going to complain these are going to be insanely hard to cop as well just like all nike dunk lows and all nike sbs have been these past couple weeks and months um if you guys are looking forward to these if you guys are looking to pick up a pair for personal i wish you guys the best of luck even myself personally i'm really looking forward to picking up a pair any nike dunk lows i actually recently copped the brazils unfortunately they were not my size but um man i really do want a pair for personal i don't know which one that's gonna be i don't know how lucky i'm gonna have to get to uh you know actually Actually pick up a pair of my size but um if you guys are looking forward to these i wish you guys the best of luck come the 24th as far as another sneaker that we should be looking forward to that coming on the 26th of this month we have the air jordan one tie dyes those are retailing 170 bucks and if you guys are not aware it is a women's exclusive these are only going up to size 12 in women's which translates to a size 10 and a half in men's um these are going to do extremely well they look like they're going to be pretty limited so if you guys are interested in these I would not recommend sleeping on them. Um, I can also see them reselling for a good amount as well. Um, and it's kind of weird how they're not like a traditional colorway for a Jordan 1. But because they're limited and combine that with the fact that they're a women's exclusive, that's a recipe for them to, uh, you know, have pretty good resell. So if you guys are looking forward to these, if you guys are looking to make some money off of these, please do not sleep. On the 26th, they're dropping in a couple of different places. If you guys want me to drop a how to cop guide on these, please let me know in the comment section below. I would have no problem doing that. But again, the 26 the air jordan one tie-dye 170 bucks let's now transition over to a pretty big collaboration one that we've just gotten teased with and have just gotten so many leaks over these past couple months i'm talking about the sean witherspoon a6 and atmos gel light 3 this sneaker sure fire definitely a cop if you guys can cop this do not hesitate these are definitely going to be worth a good amount of money um these are set to retail for 170 bucks 170 or 160 i'm not really sure yet we are supposed to be getting them on the 27th of this month so just in a matter of days um i don't have to say it. these are a sure fire cop with how much hype has been around them since they first got announced since they first got leaked i don't have to say it man do not sleep and trying to cop if you guys want them for personal Godspeed to you guys because I can only imagine how hard these are going to be to cop. And knowing Sean Witherspoon as well, going by how he dropped the uh, 97 ones, I'm pretty sure that he's going to come out with some just ridiculous release method. So again, good luck to you guys if you are looking forward to these. Me myself, I am definitely uh, you know trying to take part in that. But again, 27th, 170 bucks. Um, let's move on to another pair of Air Jordan ones that we have coming out this holiday season. This is the first picture that we've gotten for them. I have spoken about these during another episode but i didn't have an official picture this is the first time that we're actually seeing them this is a black and gold patent leather air jordan one this sneaker is pretty dope do i think that it's a surefire cop for a lot of people for myself i only speak for myself i do not think that it's a cop for me for resale purposes i definitely think that they'll be worth a good amount anytime that you get a black and gold jordan one i hate the fact that it's patent leather but just because it's black and gold i'm pretty sure that it's going to do something on the market so again how Holiday 2020 look forward to this if you guys are in need of more Jordan ones moving on though we are supposed to be getting another bodega and new balance collaboration they are working on an X racer model um, I'm not sure about you guys but me I was not familiar with this model at all this is actually the first time that I've ever seen the X racer model from new balance um, these are set to release on the 25th of this month probably going to be dropping on the bodega website at 10 a.m if you guys are looking forward to these please do not sleep these are are definitely gonna sell out pretty quickly these are very easily one of my least favorite collaborations from bodega and new balance um, regardless this is gonna sell out pretty quickly so if you guys want a pair do not sleep um, I believe that these are going to retail for 160 170 bucks so once again stay tuned for that if you do want to once again that is on the 25th of this month 
Moving on though, we did get some pretty dope news in the Nike Dunk world. Um, I feel like I've been talking about a new pair of Nike Dunks coming out like every week out here. Um, this is a green and white pair of Nike Dunk highs. I don't have to say it, this is a surefire cop in today's world where Nike Dunks and Nike SBs are pretty much like the hype of the hype. This is a surefire cop. These are set to release in 2021 though, so we are gonna have to wait a while for them. Um, again though, if you guys are looking forward to these, if you guys need more Nike Dunk lows, expect a shit ton more to come out in 2021. Myself included, I really hope that it gets easier in copying some of these models because they're definitely fire. They're just not enough out there for everybody who uh, you know actually wants a pair. Um, regardless, 2021 green and white Nike Dunk High. Look forward to that if you are interested. Um, let's move on to Big Trash of the Week, though. My favorite segment this week is a follow-up for all you Pharrell heads out there. A lot of you guys came to the defense of Pharrell when I threw the patchwork superstars in Big Trash. Let's see if you guys keep the same energy. These shits right here are the Pharrell Superstar Jellies. Boy, oh boy, somebody explain this shit to me. All you guys who were, yo, them shits is fire. Them shits, I'm gonna need to cop these. Are you gonna cop these too? These shits right here are trash. Crazy. Pharrell, what art thou doing? I don't know who in the world you guys are targeting with these shits right here, but nah, you probably gotta recall these, bro. These shits are not it. And the fact that they drop in different colorways too, Bruh, help me help you. I don't want to trash your shit, but this is not it. You want to know what actually these remind me of? You guys ever see these, uh, those like jelly sandals, the one with like the glitter, you know, sprinkled in there? These shits right here remind me of those so much. Um, these are probably targeting like 13, 14 year old girls. I'm not sure, man. Just don't cop these if you are looking for some respect. These shits are trash. Pharrell, please stop with this nonsense. I don't want to trash you, but every time I see something like this, I'm definitely not going to show no no mercy on you but that is it that is big trash let me know what you guys think down below let's move on let's talk about some Yeezys as always there is no this week in hype but I'm discussing some Yeezys so let's get right into it we do have another pair of Yeezy boost 700 v3s coming out these are called the Azurus pair this pair it's not that crazy in my opinion. I know that a lot of people on Twitter when they first got leaked, they were going crazy like, yo, Yeezy back. These shits is fire. These shits are gonna reset a lot of money. Stop it, halt, pause. These shits are not that crazy. Um, in my opinion, they're probably going to do something on the market because a lot of people seem to be a fan of the V3 700. But um, to think that these are going to revive the whole Yeezy brand, I don't think so. Um, if you guys are looking forward to these though, I would definitely not recommend sleeping because they're definitely going to be hard to grab and I can already see them probably only releasing on Yeezy Supply. If that's the case, good luck to you guys. Good luck to everybody going for these because these are definitely not going to be an easy grab. But again, that is sometime, uh, I believe that they announced these sometime for 2021. I'm not really sure, but definitely stay tuned for that. Um, also, in the easy world, we do have another pair of 380s. I feel like we've only gotten like one or two pairs of 380s, and I'm already sick of them. This right here is the Azure pair. Um, I don't know, man, to be honest. I don't even know what you guys want me to say anymore. This shit is trash, bro. Trash. I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like we all have to like sign a petition, send that shit to Yeezy himself. Tell them that we don't want any more trash colorways. This right here probably is capable of making big trash of the week. But um, I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think down below if you guys are feeling these. Moving on, though, the last sneaker story that I have for you guys. Huge, huge news in the Dior Air Jordan 1 world. We do finally have a official release method for the Dior Air Jordan 1s. As far as the clothing, let's start off with that. Those are releasing on July 8th. I believe there's only like four locations anyways. There's really not that many places. Um, one of them being the Beverly Hills Rodeo location. Another one being the Miami Design District. Two of them are also in New York, one of them in Soho, and the other one on 57th Street. Um, me, personally, as somebody who lives in New York, I'm gonna try my best to pick up some of those pieces. I don't know uh, how exactly it's gonna go down. I can already see a line forming from here, from my crib. This is not gonna be an easy release. Um, and it's only for the apparel. I don't know what exactly they're gonna do. They're probably going to have to start raffling some of these pieces off. But um, again, if you do live by any of these locations, I would definitely recommend uh, you know popping in and showing face. In regard to the Air Jordan 1 highs and the lows, we are supposed to be getting those via an exclusive online experience. Whatever the hell that means, if any of you guys have some insight on what that means, please let the boy know. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that that's going to uh, mean that it's probably going to get released by a raffle. I'll be extremely surprised if Dior or Jordan Brand for that matter decide to release these first come first serve online. That is definitely not going to be a recipe of success for most people. Also considering bots are probably going to try to adjust their bots to you know try to pick up some of these pairs. Um, I'm pretty sure that these are going to release via a raffle. Um, I'm not sure when. I'm pretty sure that uh, once we know, the entire world is going to know. Definitely, uh, you know, stay tuned for that. But um, again, Surefire Cop, these are going to resell for a shit ton of money. I believe the official number, again, is like 8,000, 9,000 pairs, somewhere around there. And they're numbered at that. So, um, yeah, again, I don't have to say it. Surefire Cop, the Dior Air Jordan 1s. But that is it for sneakers. Let's talk about some streetwear. Again, not a lot happening. Unfortunately, just the way Supreme has been these past couple weeks, they've been like waiting to the last minute to drop their uh, their drop list. Um, I'm not sure why. It could be because all the stuff that's happening in the world. It could also be because you know just people aren't working right now. Regardless, there are some pretty dope leaks floating around of some motion logo tees dropping. I'm not sure if we're going to get spring tees this week. I'm pretty sure that it has to be soon because uh, you know obviously it being spring tees, we have to get them soon. Motion logo tees, Surefire Cop. I believe there's like eight colorways. I'll throw a photo of them here. Um, Surefire Cop, cop them if you can. Cop as many as possible. They're going to resell. They're also pretty dope t-shirts as well. Me, myself, I'm definitely looking forward to copying one for personal. But um, yeah, I hope that we get them soon. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to wait up on that. Again, when the drop list drops for this week, definitely expect a full review from the boy. But that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that there wasn't that many stories, but like I told you in the beginning of the video, the stuff that we did have to cover were pretty important. So I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like for your boy, comment your thoughts, and please subscribe to the channel. Let's get the boy to 10K subs. You guys have no idea what that would mean to me. And also not to mention, I'm definitely going to do a massive giveaway when I hit that 10K. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. If you guys want to enter the giveaway for the goodies, do not sleep. Go ahead and follow both of my accounts. I promise you guys will not regret that decision. But I appreciate you guys once again. Until next time. Peace.